Did you ever feel the need to write on computer screen? I already told you that there are hardware that allow you to write on computer screen. But that's not enough. You need a software also that allow you to write on computer screen with a digital writing hardware. And one such software is OpenBoard. Previously, it was known as OpenSankore, but somehow they changed the name and now it is available as OpenBoard. You can use it freely on Mac OS, Linux and Windows PC. And not only it allows to write only on the screen like PowerPoint and OneNote, it also gives you rights to write anywhere. Like if you want to demonstrate some features of a software, then you want to highlight some portions like some buttons, some menu items or some other elements of the software. For that, OpenWord allows you to draw on that screen also. It also has a lot of applications that allow to embed Google Map, Wikipedia pages, browser pages and a lot of things inside the screen itself. Even it has ruler, compass and all the features which is required to teach mathematics in a classroom. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use OpenBoard. So why wait? Let's start. You can download OpenBoard by going to openboard.ch. From this website, you can select your language English if it is coming in different language and then you can click on this get open board for free. As you can see, open board is available for Mac OS, Windows as well as for Ubuntu. So let's download it for Windows. You can download according to your operating system. So I will save it. Once it is downloaded, you can then install it so because it is coming from outside app store so you need to give install anyway permission once it is installed you can click on finish and as soon as i'll finish it will launch open board you can open it later from your startup menu so this is how open board looks when you open it for the first time as you can see this is black color so on your screen it may be white it does not really matter because you can change the background color by clicking on this icon so let's click here and we can select any of these backgrounds so let's see this so this is the white background see then there is this background which is good for teaching mathematics this is good with normal lines and you can also change the grid size so like this i can change the grid size see okay. so it's up to you how do you want to use it then there's this black background black with this type of grid and you can change the size of this grid as well see okay. so you can use it as a graph and this one is also there so i'll select white and this so as you can see there's no option to change color you can't change color in open mode, I will change the grid size so it looks good. Then this is very simple interface. On top there is this menu and the bottom there is this small toolbar which allow you to choose different different types of pens. Here on this side you can see how many pages are there and on which page you are working currently. You can add new page by clicking on this icon. If you want to add a page between page 1 and page 2, then you click on this icon. See, this is how the page will be added. So you can add n number of pages. Then if you want to hide this, you can also hide this. This way you will get more space to write or to teach. Here there are some very good elements that helps in teaching. I will definitely tell you in some other video. Right now I am focusing on writing annotating on a screen so that you can teach by annotating or with the help of digital pen so this is why i am just closing it right now and let's close this one also and go to page number first see now i have a lot of space to teach right so let's now focus on this menu now 
so here from this is option for stylus these are the stylus options i can change the color of the stylus this means i can change different different colors from here i can select thickness of the line and i can select the thickness of the eraser so when i clicked on eraser you can see on this toolbar eraser is selected and when i am hovering the eraser is visible on the page when i am choosing a line you can see the here this pen is selected and this kind of mouse pointer is now available on the page you already know about background and from here also you can add new pages so right now there is this first page if you want to add one more page i'll simply click here and one more page will be added in the end if i am working on page 1 and i want to jump to page 2 i'll click on next this way i do not need to come to this screen again and again it will remain hide and i can simply change the pages see i'll talk about these options little late let's now talk about this so this is annotate document option this is eraser this is highlighter this is arrow if you want to select and modify objects this is used when you want to interact with the items these these are the items and i'll not talk about these items in this video this is when you want to zoom the document when you want to zoom out the document this is laser pointer this is lines this is text if you want to write text this is capturing a part means taking a snapshot of your screen and this is the keyboard virtual keyboard so these are the options and then you can start drawing on a screen so right now as you can see this annotated document tool is selected so what i can do i can start writing so as you can see i am writing here right now i have selected yellow color from this option so let's select a dark color the blue color and now i can write and it will be visible as you can see this thickness of the pen is very small so i'll increase the thickness by selecting various options so right now the line will be like this if i select this line will be like this see so i believe this one is perfect for teaching so i will start writing with the help of this see i am using digital pen to write on the screen you want to watch my video on that you can click on the link given in the description the link name is digital writing hardware so this is how you can teach so you can teach on this complete screen similarly you can select any color from here and you can then start teaching with that then there is this eraser you can select the eraser and set the size of the eraser right now you can see the eraser size is very small okay so let's select the medium size eraser it's like this and if you select the higher size eraser then it will be like this see this is the biggest eraser size available if you have made a mistake while teaching you can undo so for example let me say i have written this and i can click on this undo option see or i can click on this redo option also if you want to make let me first erase everything if you want to teach and record then you do not need to rely on any other recorder screen recorder open word comes with a recorder for that you have to select this menu so after this open word you are seeing this arrow click here from here you can see this podcast option click on this podcast option then you will see a small toolbar available here okay this toolbar at present it's showing 0.00 this means it's not writing then there are some settings available if you want to record audio default in audio input is selected If you want to publish it to internet you can select this option if you want to publish it to youtube directly after recording then you can click here this way the video will be saved to youtube it will obviously ask your permission and password if you want to start recording simply press this button and now it will start recording as you can see the stop button is now changed to stop recording button and you can see this audio bar this means it's recording my audio and you can see how much time of the screen is now recorded so let's start writing something and see if we are able to teach with this or not 
सो आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट ओपन बोर्ड एंड बिफोर दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट वन नोट एंड आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू अबाउट पावर पॉइंट यू नीड टू हैव सम प्रैक्टिस बिफोर यू स्टार्ट टीचिंग वाई दिस इज नॉट कमिंग परफेक्टली हियर बिकॉज एट प्रेजेंट ऑन माई लैपटॉप टू स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डर्स आर रनिंग साइमल्टेनियसली दिस इज वाई इट इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली but if you practice and if you use it you will see this is the best tool to use with digital white boards if you have a digital board this is the best tool you need it has all the options required for teaching in the classroom so once you are satisfied with your recorded let's go to next screen also so that we can see this feature also in advance once i am satisfied with the recording once i am done teaching i will click on this stop recording button and it will now stop see it is saved with wmb so let's play this file and see how it is recorded i'm telling you about and before that i have told you about one note and told why this is not coming perfectly here because at present on my laptop two screen recorders are running simultaneously this is why it is not working properly this is how you can create a video the video size recorded with open word is very small okay because it is especially meant for teachers so they kind of included everything in one software the video size is already compressed you don't want need to use some other compressor like handbrake let's now see other options like this highlighter so you can highlight elements okay then this is mouse pointer you can use this mouse pointer to move things right now there are these elements we can see move them okay we can select a lot of elements like this and then we can either move them or make a copy or bring them down this is what we can do with the help of this thing then there is this zoom option we can click on zoom out and select some portion to zoom out see by clicking you will zoom out then there is this laser pointer you can use it to highlight things see i can bring this laser pointer so that my students can see where i am right now see like this then there is this line option i can use this line like this okay this option allow me to type text here so i can type text with the help of this option i can definitely resize it i can select multiple font options from here see all the options are available you can change font color from here First, you have to select it. So this is how you can use Open Board in your classroom with digital whiteboard, or when you are teaching using a projector and you have a laptop or desktop, a digital writing hardware connected to it, or you want to make Khan Academy style videos. But I like Open Board because of one more feature. it allows me to write anywhere on the screen yes anywhere not just on this document if you want to write anywhere on the screen you can write on any programming language ide you can write on any other software many of times we have to annotate so let's see how we can do it for that you have to click on this so desktop icon so let's click here and when we click here what happens the open board is now hidden and i have this this menu available with me here you can see the options are same this the first icon will again take you to the open board this is the pen option and you can by clicking on this small arrow 
you can see all the options available for pen like size and other things like size and color you can select a different color if you want so i'll select red here then you have all the options for eraser here you have all the options for highlighter here this is pointer and then keyboard snipping and then cut so these options are available i'll select pen because i want to annotate so i can annotate anywhere on the screen see I can annotate wherever I want and at the same time I can also use my desktop it's not like that once you have annotated it's annotating on the image no no it's annotating directly on the software I can move my PC but in order to use my PC or use my software what I have to do I have to select the mouse pointer okay and then I can use it normally see I can scroll up, scroll down. What will happen? The, the annotations that you have done, it's like an overlay on the screen. So it will not move, but you can work on your software. Then you can use eraser to delete things. Then you can see this option of the eraser available, this option, select this and everything will be gone. Okay. Everything will be erased automatically. I can use pointer so as you can see this is version 1.5.2 it has a new user the resizing of the document which was not available in the previous versions of this software these are the work fixes it has done see it's very easy to highlight annotate on this option it's very easy then there is this highlighter let's select the highlighter and then we can highlight few portions Whenever you want to use your software normally, simply click on this mouse pointer and now you are free to use your software the way you use. When you want to annotate on paper, then you again click on this open board icon on top and it will come back to this screen. And then here you can start teaching normally. So this is very good if you want to write anywhere on the screen. Other softwares either allow to write only on a screen or on the paper but it is a complete solution there are some other options also like opening a document opening a web page here directly so you can use pdf you can use pptx directly here then you can annotate them this is how you can use open word and if you want to close open word the option is here so click on this menu and click on this quit open word will be closed now I believe you know how to use OpenSankore, the, all the options that I demonstrated here on my laptop. If you have a digital board, you can use the same option on your digital board also with the help of your finger itself. So try it, let me know if you face any problem, I will be really happy to help you. Also share this video with your fellow teachers because they might be looking for similar options. I will see you in my next video. Namaste.